welcome to Hong Kong Network where you get updates of things happening around you. I appreciate every one of you that have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, I say thank you very much because I know that at the end of this news, you are going to subscribe. And I want you to press the red button and also the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we publish any news. Thank you very much once again. No peace unless Esme move freely around Nigeria, says Northern Group. Against the backdrop of the suspension of the controversial Ruga settlement project by the federal government, the coalition of Northern Group CNG has declared that there will be no peace in the country if SME are not allowed to move freely in any parts of the country. The coalition, which had on Wednesday given the federal government a 30-day ultimatum to rescind its suspension order and implement the Ruga initiative, also asserted that it was not afraid of the review of the present union referring to Nigeria, because what we have now is a collection of Southerners and Northerners, not Nigerians. The CNG told the government to implement the Ruga project or it would be forced to take a decisive action. The spokesman of the CNG, Abdul Aziz Sulaiman, in an interview with Saturday Tribune on Friday, said, we are not withdrawing the ultimatum on suspension of the program by the government. You can't deny some citizens their rights and think there will be peace in the country. On the recent call by the APS Igbo Sushukochora Ohaneze Indigo on Igbos to defend themselves against any threats from any quarters, Suleiman, who said members of the coalition were not afraid of arrest, described what he called the threat of Ohaneze Indigo and the pan Yoruba Sushukochora organization Afeniferi as selfish and wicked. He said, I think the two bodies are selfish and wicked. We didn't start this threat. They started it first. It was Chief Gary Adams who read saying he would lead one million Yoruba warriors to fish out Esme in the southwest. Ohaneze also called on their people for self-defense. Did we issue any threats? We were just making a stand known on the issue of Ruga. Let them read our letter and see where we mention anything like that. Any Another person in the Niger data said the Fulani Esme would not be allowed in their area. Truly, to our charging, we have begun to see some of these threats being, practic being practicalized. Now we have a video footage of some Igbo chasing Esme out of their state. We want to tell them that we are not afraid of them. We are not afraid of anybody. This union, Nigeria, as long as no one will be allowed to go and fend for himself in any part of the region, there will be no peace. We are not afraid of any review of the present union because what we have now is a collection of Southerners and Northerners. Record as Ohaneze, Yoruba, Niger Delta, Youth, the Northern Coalition. The Ohaneze Youth Coalition, OYC, yesterday said the Northern governors should be held responsible for any harm against the Igbo in the region following the recent threat by the coalition of Northern Group over the suspension of the Ruga so settlement policy by the federal government. This is as the Yoruba Sociocultural Association, YYSC, has described the ultimatum by the coalition as mere threats, while urging Yorubas residing in the northern part of the country not to panic. Meanwhile, Niger Delta militants under the ages of Joint Revolutionary Council, JRS, have warned that any attempts to grab land for X-Men to graze their cattle in the zone would be met with just recompense. A statement in Abakaleke by the national president of OYC, Mazi Okechuku Izuguzori, noted that the threat by the coalition was uncalled for since there was the option of ranching for Fulani X-Men through the national livestock transformation. He said the threat should be withdrawn immediately while reminding the coalition of the grave implications of their position. Isi Guzoro said, We are fully aware that these recent threats are targeted only at the lives and property of peaceful Nigeria of Igbo extraction doing businesses in the 19 northern states, and this is a declaration of war against the Igbo. OYC wishes to remind the leadership of the coalition of the hate speech ban. If the northern governors Northern Elders Forum, Arewa Consultative Forum, Northern Traditional Rulers led by the Sultan of Sokoto and religious leaders are not behind the recent threats. They should condemn it vehemently and call the warring youth to order, Isi Guzoro said. 
Deputy National Secretary of the YYSE, Adeboye Uluwabusoye, in a statement yesterday advised Yorubas residing in the northern parts of the country not to panic, saying the 30 day ultimatum was an empty threat. Since we understand their game of whimsy, no amount of intimidation can send Yoruba people away from northern Nigeria. We guarantee our people's safety of lives and property. They should face their businesses and continue to live without fear. The coalition threat is unworthy to worry about, Uluwabu Sayo said. JROC spokesperson Cynthia White in a statement said the Niger Delta had already borne too much headache for the country and our people could not afford the luxury of a new Ruga migraine. White said the 30 days ultimatum by the coalition was diversionary. We have felt the hands of Iso. We also know the voice of Jacob. In furtherance, therefore, we declare that any attempt in any attempt to infringe upon the peaceful and secure life of any Niger Delta anywhere across the country will be met with just recompense, White said. Um, like uh, this um, northern group, they really do not really want peace, just like they have said, just like they have said that if they don't, if they are not allowed to move freely, that there will be no peace in Nigeria. And what we have now is between the northerners and the southerners, that there's nothing like Nigeria, meaning the battle line has been drawn. Nobody is telling anyone not to move freely, but they, it's like they want to try to twist the whole thing that they don't want them in their area and we could recall that there was a kind of um, uh, disturbing happenings in Imo yesterday when people were running eta skater for their life because of Esme you know doing all manner of things to the uh, people of Imo one of the villages in Imo no one is saying you guys should not move freely but what they are saying is that you guys are infringing on farmers land you are infringing on their property you are infringing on their privacy because if we want to look at the whole thing thoroughly you will see that the whole problem started from this esme because i'm sure farmers they are located in a particular place they don't move from place to place they are only just to go to their farm you know plant their crops and when it's time to harvest they go and do that in the same spot boys is these people they call themselves nomadic or whatever they move from places to places and you want to feed your cows with you know with crops or with grasses and it is known that we must have grasses or whatever in in farmers you know farmland and by the so do you take your cows to that place and they will heat up the crops that the farmers have planted and you are going to put them into a kind of uh loss and you expect them not to react. You expect them not to talk. You are the one who is moving. You are the people moving from one place to another. You know, encroaching into people's land. Encroaching into people's farm. If you have a, a designated place that you are doing your business, just like the farmers, they have their own designated where they are doing farming. It's just like, a, you know, farmers will live, you know, where they are supposed to do their farming. They will now go inside the town and be planted. It's not so. There are some designate, designated places for farmers to do their farming. You can't just move anyhow you can't just go to anywhere that you want to you know start cultivating or you want to start a, you know having your own farm there it's not done so exactly as you are doing your business as cattle rearers you have to have a particular place that you are doing it if you want to feed your cows you go and buy what they need to eat then you feed them there that is how it's been done but now they are twisting the whole thing that they don't want them to move freely move freely from from where to where now moving freely into people's farm is that what you call you know free movement so I think now the battle line has been drawn. They say there's nothing like Nigeria that we only have a southerners and northerners. You know, they've divided into two. So they believe that they are in one part. The rest people are in one side. So if they don't allow them to move freely, that there's going to be a problem. And that was why you see that, you know, the Yoruba group, the Niger data and people from the southeast, they said, you cannot tell our people to leave your area because we are not telling you to leave our area if you... Our people that are in your area doing their own business, they, they are not just encroaching into your, you know, your privacy and they are not detrimental to whatever you do. So you shouldn't be detrimental to our own people in this way. And that is why we are telling you that we don't want this uh, uh, Ruga settlement. And I don't know why they don't want to understand this simple thing. So guys, that is just my opinion concerning what they have said. I would like you guys to put down your comments below in the comment section. Let's rub minds together. Thank you very much for always listening. Bye.